वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल साइंटिफिक अंडर स्कोर मैथ इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस द कंडीशन नंबर ऑफ अ गिवन सिस्टम ओके सो द लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव आर वी विल लर्न द डेफिनेशन एंड द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द कंडीशन नंबर एंड वी विल अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सेप्ट विद द हेल्प ऑफ एग्जांपल हाउ टू फाइंड द कंडीशन नंबर ऑफ अ गिवन सिस्टम एंड नंबर थर्ड वी आल्सो learn how to find the condition number using the matlab uh, built in commands okay so let's start uh, today lecture condition number okay so the number that is the product of the norm of a matrix and the norm of its inverse uh, matrix is called the condition number of the matrix a okay so uh, we write it as the condition number of the given matrix a is equal to the product of norm of the matrix a and the norm of the its inverse means inverse of the matrix a okay so this will uh, give us the condition number of the matrix a okay so here we have some properties of the condition number first property the condition number of the identity matrix is always one okay so uh, the condition number of any other matrix is one or greater okay so this one is the first and now we have second one if the condition number is approximately one okay then the true relative error is of the same order of the magnitude as the uh, relative residual and the system is well conditioned okay so this one is second and uh, what is uh, the relative error to relative error how we can calculate this one and uh, the residual of residual in uh, earlier lecture we have already learned about this one the lecture and the lecture name is estimation of error in numerical solution okay so i will provide the link in video description of this lecture you can watch and you can uh, understand the concept how to find the true relative error and the relative residual okay so second one is uh, the, uh, the condition is the number is approximately one okay so it's mean the system is well conditioned okay so third one we have when if the condition number is much larger than one then the relative small uh, relative residual does not necessarily imply a small relative error and the system is ill conditioned okay so before that when the condition number is approximately equal to 1 it's mean we have well conditioned system well conditioned system okay so when the uh, condition number is much greater than 1 much greater than 1 then we have the ill conditioned or the poor condition system ill condition ill conditioned system okay so next we have uh, for a given matrix the value of the condition number depends on the matrix norm that is used okay so uh, it's also depends on uh, Uh, uh how we calculating which we are uh, which norm we are using to find the uh, condition numbers okay so we understand in this concept with the help of example okay so we have okay so the inverse of a matrix has to be known in order to calculate the condition of the matrix okay so because we know that here the we have also calculate the norm of the Uh, inverse of the matrix so the condition number is the product of the norm of a matrix and its inverse next okay so uh, now we will understand this concept how to find the condition number of a matrix through example okay so we have the example determine the condition number of the matrix using infinity infinity norm so this one is the second last point uh, which means a uh, condition number depends on the norm uh, condition number depends on the norm which norm we are using okay uh, to find the condition number so 
uh, we will see uh, over here we can see that here we are using uh, infinity norm to calculate the condition number we can also use the l1 norm l2 norm to find the condition number we uh, we are uh, use all these norms and compare the result uh, when we uh, when we do this practice on matlab okay so here we uh, calculate the um, condition number using the infinity norm and we know that uh, how we uh, apply the how we calculate the infinity norm of the matrix uh, we learned this in previous lecture i will provide the link in video description you can watch about this okay so here we have the definition of the infinity norm in infinity norm we do uh, the uh, sum row wise okay so if we do the sum row wise we uh, add up uh, we take the absolute value of uh, these uh, entries and then we add up okay so here we have first uh, the first row we have we can see that all these are the this is the first row we take the absolute value of all elements and then we add up okay so the sum is 13 next for all we do same and uh, here we can see that first we take the absolute 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 and then we add up okay similarly for r3 and r4 we do okay so here the sum is 20 for r3 and here the sum is 17 for r4 okay so now we take the maximum uh, sum from the row sum okay so the infinity norm this matrix is equal to the maximum okay so a maximum of all these summations and we can see that the maximum sum is 20 so it's mean the infinity norm of this matrix is 20 okay so now we uh, find the rest of this matrix and then we apply the infinity norm so here we have the inverse of the matrix a and now we do same like we have done over here and we will find the infinity norm of the inverse matrix okay so again we do the sum row wise sum for r1 then r2 then r3 and then for r4 and then we uh, then we took the then we uh, select the maximum value maximum sum of the rows okay so this one is the uh, first row and we take the absolute 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 of all these and then we sum up okay so similarly for r2 r3 r4 okay so now we have the infinity norm of the inverse matrix is equal to the maximum of these sums and the maximum is 0.2064 okay so this one is the inverse of uh, uh, this one is the norm of the inverse matrix now we know that know the definition of the condition number condition number condition of matrix a is equal to the product of norm of the matrix a into the norm of its inverse okay so here we have we can see that the condition number uh, uh, the uh, infinity norm of the matrix is 20 and its inverse is 0 0.204 and after multiplication we have result is this one and we can see that this one is much greater than one and its mean this is the ill conditioned or the poor conditioned system okay so now we uh, learn how to find the condition number uh, using the matlab built-in commands okay okay so we have a, a, a matrix a that is this one and we want to find the uh, condition number of this matrix okay so here we uh, we have uh, built-in commands to calculate the condition number okay so first we find the condition number using the infinity norm and uh, okay i will give the name is uh, c1 is okay first one c1 is equal to the condition number of matrix a using the infinity norm okay so let's run this one and we can see that the using the infinity norm we have the condition number is 4.1275 okay so again i want to calculate the condition number of this same matrix using the uh, 
L1 norm. Okay, so in this uh, now I will give the name C2 is equal to condition number of the matrix A using L1 norm. Okay, using L1 norm. Okay, so this one is the for L1 norm command. So let's run this one, and in this case we can see that the norm is different. In this case, the 3.9796 we have. Okay. So next, I want to calculate the uh, condition number of the same matrix using the two norm. So I will give the name uh, over here is C3 is equal to, you can give any name and the condition of the matrix A using the two norm. Okay. Let's run this again. And we can see that in all cases, the condition number is different. And the third one, 1 1.9258. Okay, so this one is the condition number. Okay, so the second last point uh, of the uh, property uh, in properties of condition number was the condition number depends on the uh, norm, which norm we are using to calculate the condition number. Okay, so thank you so much for watching my video. Please subscribe my channel, scientific underscore math, for more videos related to mathematics.